Hello, it's Serena, your independent Sensi consultant. I'm coming to you today to talk about bricks. Sensi bricks. What is this, Serena? What is this you have in your hand and how did you get that? I'm gonna tell you about that. I'm gonna talk to you about my personal, personal, not for sale, my own personal use, bricks that I love and how you can get them. <sighs> so, Sensi brick is almost one pound of wax. I believe the net weight is 15 ounces, 424 grams. A regular bar, look at this, look at this little baby thing. Regular bar is 2.6 ounces net weight, uh, 74 grams, look at that. Look at the difference. Ooh. I'm gonna show you the size of a bar from a brick and a bar from a bar, a cube from a brick and a cube from a Scentsy bar. Look at that, look at at that so you do not want to put a whole bar from a brick into your warmer you want to cut it and I'm gonna show you what I do a little bit I've got these all over my lap so bear with me um let me show you in this one I think they're already kind of cut so when you get a brick it's gonna look well this one's already got one piece out so look it's just one huge Thing. they're not cut not anything so what I do is I take a good knife and I score along each um, little area where there would be a between them I put take a knife and I score it and then I take out one row at a time and usually this one I apparently just took a cube this one I cut into thirds and this one right here if you look I cut into fourths and then I removed it from the, uh, I removed it, cut it into fourths, and I stuck it back in there. So this is four little chunks. And then you can warm a fourth of a, fourth of a cube, a third of a cube, however much you want. I would not recommend warming more than half of a cube, and that would be in a big warmer. Because that's just, that's a lot of wax. Anyway, how did I get these? So there's two ways to get a Scentsy Brick. I'm going to tell you about those. The first way is sadly only happens once a year, usually. Around the holidays, they since he releases a seasonal brick collection. Last year, there were five. I have four of them left. I have already had already warmed through a couple bricks, um, a, a couple of them, and one I wasn't fond of, so I did not buy it again. I, I repurchased the rest of them because they were so good. So we're gonna talk about what I have as far as seasonal bricks and what I have from the other way. The other way that you can get Scentsy Bricks is through Scentsy Club. Scentsy Club offers 17 bricks. Sele 17 select scents you can get in Scentsy Bricks. Excuse me, we've got baked apple pie, black raspberry vanilla, blue grotto, blueberry cheesecake, clean breeze, coconut lemongrass, jammy thyme. I'm reading off a of paper. Johnny Appleseed, Luna, perfectly pomegranate. And what? Perfectly pomegranate is not even in the Scentsy catalog right now. So if that is something you love, you need to get yourself a Scentsy Club so you can get the brick from our Scentsy Club. Sea salt and avocado, skinny dippin', squeeze the day, sugar cookie. Again, sugar cookie's not in the catalog. I'm gonna talk to you about that. Sunkissed Citrus, Vanilla Bean Buttercream, and Welcome Home. So, Scentsy Club, you can get consumable Scentsy items delivered to your home every uh, one, two, or three months. I have a quarterly Scentsy Club. And in Scentsy Club, you can cancel at any time. There's no obligation, no contract. But if you have $30 or more in your Scentsy Club, pre-tax, you get 10% off everything. If you have $60 or more in your Scentsy Club, you get... 10% off everything plus a half off item. So this right here, sugar cookie that is no longer available in the catalog. I got this for $12, not 24 as a regular price for the Scentsy Club bricks, 12, because I used my half off item for this. Scentsy Club is great. When this bar left the catalog, I did put it um, in my Scentsy Club so I could always get my bar. But when I realized that they didn't take the brick out of the catalog, I was like, oh man, I'm getting that in a brick. I love to use sugar cookie as a mixer. Love to use sugar cookie as a mixer. Okay, I need to get these off my lap. <laughs> We're gonna have an avalanche. And sadly, I am here with my foot up 
with my crutches next to me. And if they fall off my lap, they're not coming back up for this video. There's Basta Luego Scentsy Brick for now. So we're going to talk about the Scentsy Bricks I have <sighs> because these are good. I just recently did kind of an inventory of the bars I have, my own personal use bars, because my husband was like, other than your Scentsy Club or things where you're going to make samples for your business, we don't need any more wax. I, once I did my inventory, I kind of have to agree with him for right now. Um, we have some special things coming up I am going to get so I can make samples because my people love samples. So I did not realize I had so many bricks. A lot of these, like I have warmed through a lot of bricks, but I still have a lot that I have not. So we're going to be working on brick warming the next few months because where I had these stored was not the best spot. And some of them were getting a little sweaty. So the first brick I have, I think this is the first brick I ever bought. No, maybe not. I think I got one in club first. Um, Olaf Warm Hugs. It was available in brick, I think in 2020, 2019 or 2020. Oh, I got it in the clearance section. It is peppermint, vanilla, wonderful goodness. I still have a half and a little piece. Um, that one, my husband is not big on peppermint, so I can't warm that through the whole house. I may warm it in here um, during this week when he's gone. Uh, these were ones that I had in my, um, from the seasonal collection last year set seasonal bricks so vanilla cinnamon maple one whole brick of it I warmed through one that I I used it to make samples and warmed some so I used up one whole brick got another one this is just vanilla cinnamon maple wonderful goodness fluffy fleece I cannot say that quickly um that's how much I have a fluffy fleece it is like a kind of a little bit of a floral, cozy laundry scent. It is what I would want a fluffy fleece, um, scarf or blanket to smell like, cause it is just, it is just comforting and cozy and makes me feel warm and secure. Spiced eggnog was from the seasonal collection last year as well. I have a whole clamshell of this. I, I warmed through one whole one already. Um, spiced eggnog is just a creamy vanilla. It's got some uh, clove, a little bit of clove, little vanilla, creamy eggnog. I think it's supposed to have some butter rum in it. It's just really good. My husband actually liked this one. And that and the vanilla, cinnamon vanilla maple, he really liked those. Uh, Pink poinsettia was a seasonal brick uh, 2021. And it, this one's just fruity. And I actually, I'm going to leave this out. I, cause this one, um, I think I'll, I'll warm here in the next little bit when it's nice and warm out, this one, it'd be a good one. Cause I don't think this was very wintry. This, I just get like fruity, almost like a pomegranate scent. So one more seasonal brick. So this was a seasonal brick in 2020 and this one, it still smells and it's not ruined, but it's gotten juicy. You can see there, um, this one I need to get warmed. I was hesitant because I took this bar out of my Scentsy Club. So I'm going to miss it. It's just marshmallow mint cocoa. It's marshmallow mint chocolate goodness. And it is such a good vanilla sweet um, peppermint marshmallow peppermint cocoa. I, I love that. And I go through my Scentsy Club and I take I, I have to sit there and say, will I be really sad if I don't ever get that again? And I'll, if I say, yes, I'll miss it. Well, is that something I can warm a majority of the year? And because I live somewhere where it's really hot, some of those scents like marshmallow mint cocoa and fluffy fleece, I just can't do all year round or, or heavy dark spice scent. I can't live, do that all year round. When it's 100 degrees out, I am not in the mood to melt marshmallow mint cocoa. I love it, but I just can't do that. So... I took it out because I told myself, no, you can't warm that all year round, so it needs to go. Now I'm sad, and now I think I don't want to warm my brick because I will miss it. Anyway, bring it back, Sensi, bring it back. I don't think they will. Squeeze the day, yeah, these, oh, squeeze the day. Um, this is one that I get through Sensi Club, so I would have gotten it for $12. It is just wonderful lemon goodness um some people like to use lemon coconut coconut lemongrass um to warm that to cut out smells and stuff and that is one you can get in as a scentsy brick 
I like to use this. I'm not fond of coconut lemongrass. It is not in my wheelhouse. Squeeze the day. I will warm if I have a smell I don't like. I'll warm this um, in a bar. I need to warm through my brick. I will warm it and uh, try to cut that smell down. My husband's not big on lemon, so I have to monitor the lemon. Blueberry cheesecake is one of the is the first brick I ever got through Scentsy Club. It is old, so it has colored a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to be this color. It's not sweaty or anything, but it still smells like blueberry cheesecake wonderfulness. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. So Skinny Dippin'. Skinny Dippin' is, I think it could be all year. Mm, it's just a green apple melon. It's fruity, but it's a light fruity. I really like Skinny Dippin'. Uh, let's see, Black Raspberry Vanilla. I love to use this one. Um, uh, I love the scent, but I what I do often, I think I use this whole row. I made samples. I like to give this to especially new Scentsy people. I put a little card saying, "Melt, warm this in your warmer if it's dirty and it helps to clean up any residue. I don't know how it works and it it's probably against... Um, I'm not, probably not supposed to say it, but it does. It works. Something in this wax. You warm it in your warmer and it cleans up a lot of the gunk in there for that you might have gotten from a darker, more spicier wax. It works wonders. I give it as samples all the time, especially to my new customers. Okay, so we got a couple more left. So sugar cookie. I did not realize I had two of these. And you can tell I think one's a little bit older because it's a little bit darker, but they both... Mmm, they both smell wonderful. I think because I think I thought one was vanilla bean buttercream and one was sugar cookie. So that's my bad. I didn't realize I had one and then I put another one in my club. So sugar cookie is just wonderful, sweet sugar cookie goodness. And I like to use sugar cookie as a mixer. That's what I did with this one. Um, I mix, uh, mix it. It just kind of sweetens up anything you want to sweeten up. Mix some sugar cookie with it. Good. And you can't get this in the catalog anymore. So the only way to get sugar cookie right now, if you didn't have it, a Scentsy Club already and put a bar in, you can get it in a brick form in Scentsy Club. Look how big this is. It's huge. Okay, two more. Two more. So this one, I still have half. I'm not a fan. So for a little while in 2020, Scentsy was, let it, was giving consultants, instead of their scent of the month kit having nine bars, they got a brick and I think three bars with, you know, the scent of the month. All the rest of the scent of the month bars I have warmed through and given tons and tons of samples. Jade and Jasmine, to me, was a masculine, woodsy scent. It's supposed to be like green lemon. Let me see if I can find my notes. It's supposed to be green lemon, blue jasmine, and rosemary. It was a scent of the month of January, 2021. Um, but, my problem is I don't get that. I'm just getting the musk and, and manly part of it. So the base notes of this are white, amber, musk, and oak. And I think those just overpower anything else that might be in there. It is strong. I will try to get through that. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to mix it with something. So if you know a good mix for Jade and Jasmine, let me know because I'm going to have a hard time going through that. So this right here, I'm going to tell you, this is a very important brick in my home. My husband is a wonderful sport about Scentsy, and he likes the Scentsy, and he likes our home to smell good. This is his favorite scent of all time, Johnny Appleseed. Anytime I ask him things about what I to keep in the club, he's, his first thing, well, Johnny Appleseed. I was like, okay, it's in the catalog right now, and I have a brick. I don't need to keep it. Well, just make sure we can get it. He always wants to make sure we always have Johnny Appleseed. So <laughs> I have a full brick of Johnny Appleseed. I have warmed through other bricks of Johnny Appleseed. I always have to have Johnny Appleseed in my home. Johnny Appleseed is Macintosh apple. Mm, I think it's a uh, crisp Macintosh apple, apple peels, and uh, a hint of pear. I don't get pear, but I get Macintosh apple. It is really, really good. It is one of our favorites in our house. So that right there is my personal brick collection. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you are a fan of Scentsy, and there are some scents, the scent that you just warm over and over and over, get a Scentsy Club. Get it, get a brick 10% off so that you can get 10% off of 24 if you're 
club is over $30. Or if you have other things you would like to put in a Sensi club, you could get this for $12 if you're with a qualifying $60 club. That's insane. $12. $12. And I get you some Sensi bricks. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, find something to bring you joy. Bye.